So I don't like having to make videos like this. But when God speaks, one must obey. I'm not really the type of person to be confrontational when it comes to the things of God. But lately, in my heart, in my spirit, I have felt the unction to prophesy. I have felt God calling me into the office of the prophet. I've also come to understand that you cannot take that position lightly. When it comes to God speaking to me, I don't have an issue with hearing the voice of the Lord. That's something that I believe is because I believe that he speaks not only through his word, logos, but also through rhema. I've believed this for a very long time. So here we are. Prophetess Juanita Bynum, a woman of God who, if I can say this, has influenced me as a Christian because I remember being a young Christian, the age of 19, I'm 33 now, listening to her preach and feeling the conviction in my spirit in my soul. The things I heard her preach back in the day, it made me want to live right. It made me want to go deeper in the things of God. It made me want to go deeper in prayer. And it made me want to understand the prophetic realm. Fast forward today, and I've watched some disturbing things take place. I've, I've, I've heard some disturbing things, and I'm not the type of individual to get on YouTube, make a video about a person without first taking into account that I can fall and be tempted as well. So what's this message that God has given me for you, Prophetess Juanita Bynum? Well, here's the message. And with all due respect, I say this as a fellow prophet of God, that the Lord has spoken to me and he has asked me to tell you, and I do believe that you will see this video or you will hear about this video because I don't believe God spoke this to me without knowing ahead of time that you will probably tune into this or someone will show you or you will get word of this because you're going to feel this conviction in your heart. The Lord has asked me to tell you to simply come back to your first love. End what God has spoken to me. I'm not going to add anything to what God has spoken. Come back to your first love. Now, what I want to say is this. Woman of God, I am praying for you. You are very well off. I, I've searched up your net worth. I've seen what you're working with. And I just want to say that if you got that by means of good, man, God has blessed you to be financially secure when most of us, we're just trying to make it. We make good money, but you know, we're not, we're not as comfortable as we want to be financially. But understand this, that for the love of money, is the root of all evil. Having money is not evil. 
money itself is not evil. But when you love money to the point where you are willing to bamboozle people out of their money for financial gain, you have crossed over from good to evil. I say that with humility because I have personally in the past done things for my gain. I've done things because I wanted to be well off. I'm not without sin. So I can't cast a stone at you. I'm just the messenger, right? I'm just a prophet of God that has been given a word by the Lord to speak to you. That's it. I say this with love. I say this with humility. I say this because you, you are somebody that helped me. Just through your videos, just by watching you preach, I was convinced that there was more to it than just going to church, that this thing must be worked out with fear and trembling. Trembling, Our salvation must be worked out. So I'm going to continue to pray for you. I'm going to ask everyone that watches this video to pray for the woman of God. Because I believe that he who began a good work in you will complete it onto the day of Jesus Christ. The work will be finished. Now, I can get into um, the B symbolism on your, uh, that, that your followers are that the people who are involved in your ministry, they, they post Bs after everything. I can get into the occult symbolic nature of that, but I won't. I'll save that for another video because I want to make sure that I look at things from the right perspective. I want to make sure that I go in and study why you decided to choose that and let the Lord speak to me before I just get up here and say something because I do not want to be wrong. I want you to go on in the blessings of God I want to go on in the blessings of God and every believer that hears this and watches this video, I want you to go on in the blessings of God. My purpose as a prophet of God is to help steer you in truth. I'm here because I want you to know more about Jesus Christ and I want you to know more about how you can live victorious in this world. Sometimes that comes with warnings. And we know that warning comes before destruction. How do I know this? Because God has warned me on things. I was not obedient and I watched things in my life get destroyed. So once again, I say this with humility, knowing that lest I be tempted and fall in the same manner as you have. I hope this message blesses you, woman of God. I hope this message blesses everyone that watches or listens to this video. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May his mercies and grace cover you all the days of your life. As for me, this channel will serve the Lord. Be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ.